This is the very first comic I have ever worked on. I'm so happy I picked cartoon character type of designs because I'm making a comic. Um, <laughs> four weeks left and seven spreads. I have no idea if this is gonna work out. So I have I have outside proof from two people that this doesn't suck. We got this. We don't got it, but we got it. I am still on page 21. This is the third day I will be working on page 21. I decided to do the equivalent of like 10 panels because I'm really smart. I can't believe I did this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Emily, and today we are doing something a little bit different. We are not really doing a writing vlog, though there's a little bit of writing involved. We are doing a making a comic vlog. Every year there is a challenge that is the 100 day project challenge, which is basically you commit to doing 100 days of creative things working on a project. It's very popular to use this challenge to do a comic in 100 days. Now this project technically takes place early in the year, January, February, March sometime, but today is Wednesday, November 22nd, and I would like to have this comic that I'm working on finished by sometime early next year. So I'm starting now. 100 days from now should be the last day in February. This is the very first comic I have ever worked on. If you're new here, I am primarily an author, but I also have a graphic design degree, so I design and illustrate and format all my own books as well, and I've been wanting for a long time to make a short comic. And if I put a self-imposed deadline on myself of a 100 day project, I am much more likely to beat the procrastination and the imposter syndrome and actually get this thing done. Where I'm at is I have an outline for this thing and I have a script. I wrote most of the script yesterday, actually, in preparation for this video. Today I'm going to go over it and I'm also going to start doing some of the character design sketches and some of the little thumbnail sketches. The challenge, I believe, is to work on your project for at least half an hour a day. When I get to drawing, I usually go off the deep end and just take way too much time doing it, so it'll probably be more than half an hour. I'm going to attempt to work on this every day, but sometimes I just... I know I simply will not. It's much like doing National Novel Writing Month. Do I want to write every day? Yes. Will I? Probably not. And that's fine because different paces for everybody. So right now the script is for a 24 page book. As I mess with it today, it might change a little bit. This is a cute little story about two brothers. They are the physical embodiments of night and daytime. So it's very me. It's very cozy and cute. And I'm very happy because that means I get to do a lot of high contrast in the colors with the drawing because night and day, dark and light, all that kind of thing. So I'm very excited. It's a very cute little squishy story and I think it'll be very adorable once drawn out. I am so sleepy today, so don't mind me, but I had to do the intro clip for this vlog today. Don't mind the fact that it's only 10 and I want to take a nap. So that's pretty much all I got right now. This is an entirely new experience for me. We got some imposter syndrome going on, but we are going to make this little short comic and we're gonna do it in a hundred days. So today's Wednesday, November 29th. I have already missed two days on this challenge and I sort of foresaw this coming as I'm doing NaNoWriMo at the same time and so trying to write a lot of words and also do another heavily creative thing at the same time. Difficult to do, trying to balance writing and a lot of artwork for me. This is a lot of artwork for me. Trying to balance those two things is gonna be probably the more challenging part of this. So I do have it down today to do the comic, but I also need to write. So I'm gonna try to write earlier in the morning, which is now. So that's all I'm gonna say about it. I've got the thumbnail sketches done up to page four. Considering this is a short comic, that's not too bad. All right, it is Monday, December 11th. I decided I really needed to buckle down over the weekend and finish the rough sketches for this thing. And I did. On Saturday, I did six pages worth of sketches, and then yesterday I did seven pages worth of sketches, and I finished the thing. It is, they are incredibly rough. They are um, basically scribbles, but they are 25 pages of sketches that now I know what to do, and I can draw them in any page uh, order that I want because they're all planned out. I might start with like the easiest pages first and sort of ease myself into the fact that this is a massive project. We've got how many days left? 81 days left, including today. Whew. 
So that leaves me about, what, there's 25 pages, a little more than three days per page. Um, and I know there's days I'm not going to do it because I simply <laughs> have not done it consistently already. But I am quite pleased with myself that I am actually keeping rather dedicated to this. Art is a struggle for me and doing it consistently is a struggle for me. And really the biggest gap in time I haven't worked on it was the first four days of this month. And I was kind of taking a mental break because I did 50K for NaNoWriMo plus a bunch of work for the comic plus a bunch of other stuff. So I was just kind of like, we're not getting burnout. We're gonna take a couple days off. And I did. I don't know, I might as well show you the character sketches. They're not finalized, but they're kind of cute. I'm gonna show you one of them. I don't really know if I have told you what the plot really is of this. <laughs> it's um, the little, oh, it's not going to focus, is it? Not really. Okay, well, you're gonna have to trust me. He's got a little face in there. This is the character, he's like the personification of daytime, and you got his brother, who is the personification of night, with his big, creepy eyes. And it's just a cute little story about that. And if we grab my 82 million files, you can see over here we got 25 pages of like super, super rough sketches. Like, this is what they are, the type of things they are. The owl sketch is actually very cute, but that's the type of thing they are. They're very rough, but they're enough that I can just start writing, or start drawing now, not start writing. So that's what I spent a lot of the weekend doing. And today I'm actually gonna try to get a big writing day in, so I'm probably not gonna work on this today, but it will be worked on in a day or two. I don't have much to report. It's Wednesday, December 20th. I would just like to get on here and quickly say that I have officially drawn the first page. It's not actually the first page, it was page eight. I picked the easiest thing last night to start drawing, but that got me started. I have now officially started the final illustrations on the comic. I also need to come up with a title. <laughs> Friday, December 22nd. Yes, I have officially started the comic. I have illustrated page one and page eight. They were the two easiest illustrations to do because there was no panels. It was just a full spread page. So that was the easiest one to do. The two easiest ones to do. Picked those, did them. It's cute. It might need some details. I think they're both like 90% done, but that's enough for me to sort of move on into the other pages and I can do like a final sweep of little details as I finalize what I'm doing with my style here because who knows what I'm doing with my style, not me. I'm gonna show you some of it. This vlog will probably come out close to whenever I do the Kickstarter for this, so. I'll just show you. So we got page eight, let me get rid of the, this one is so cute. It's not gonna focus, he's so bright. He's a cute little, is it not gonna focus? It's not going to, is it? Oh my gosh. You can see me though. There he is. <laughs> Look at his derpy little face. Oh my gosh. So I got him and actually page one has a very similar like little layout for him. But I had a lot of fun with the texture on this page. And also that deer, he's chilling. It's Wednesday, January 17th. I have noticed that when it comes to art, I don't have much to update. Those, these vlogs are much more sporadic because it's just like, yep, and then I did the next panel and I did the next panel. There's no, there's not much to talk about actually. So I am behind on the 100 day challenge, but I'm proud of my progress because I've never done this before. I have seven pages finished, which is, you know, nothing to sneeze at. There's some little edits that need to be done here. I have jumped forward into I don't know if I told you, there's two sections. There's daytime and there's nighttime. And I've jumped forward into the nighttime section because it's so much easier color-wise for me to work on. I'm very, very proud of this spread. I did it in like two hours, not two hours, two days. Got it laid out in Ingram Spark, Ingram Spark. I can't speak today. I was just yelling about Ingram Spark in another vlog. We got it laid out in InDesign. We got the world's fluffiest owl isn't he cute? And it took me 82 years to figure out how to draw some type of like glass dome slash greenhouse thing. 
I'm very happy with how it turned out. It's adorable, and that version of that owl also took me. It didn't take me too long, but I'm very proud of how it turned out. Like, I'm very happy with that page. So we got that page, that page, then we got, we got a jump back, we got those, and we got that one. So I'm not very far into it, obviously. I still got all of these to do, but I'm getting there. I might do the 100 days. Like, it might get done in 100 days, especially because writing is not flowing right now. So when you're not writing, time to draw. The only other thing of note I can say is I have noticed when it comes to like my drawing process that I have a harder time drawing for like consecutive days in a row. If I spend a lot of time working on the comic, I want to not draw for a few days and it's a struggle to pick it back up. So that's an interesting little tidbit I've learned about myself, which is obviously not great for trying to do like a hundred day challenge, but we're still trying. I'm so happy I picked cartoon character type of designs because but yeah, I've got a nice process down for like how to draw trees and grass and stuff. There's some brushes I've had on Photoshop forever that are finally coming in clutch. I'm, I'm very pleased with how this is going. And I hope it prints. I might have to do some like color corrections and bump up the contrast and stuff like that because you'll, you'll learn stuff when you print, which is that it never comes out the way you want it. The way it looks on the screen is always going to look better than it does in print, so I might have to like bump up some of the subtle stuff that I got going on so it actually shows in print. And I'm definitely going to be working on this today, so. It's Monday, January 22nd. I am very pleased with my progress. I'm more than a third of the way done. I have nine pages done, 16 left to go, plus the cover. One of the things I'm going to do today is I'm going to start doing sketches for the cover. The covers of comics are interesting to me because I don't know like what to do with them. You know, they're not like books. Books have, I feel like they're not like books. They might be. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like books have very specific ways of looking per genre and category. Like young adult fantasy looks a certain way. Adult romantic fantasy looks a certain way. Adult, like, smutty fantasy looks a certain way. Adult epic fantasy looks a certain way. Middle grade sci-fi looks a certain way. You know, they're very, very specific. And with comics, I feel like it's whatever is pretty, you're good. You know, and I've been doing some research and Pinteresting things and looking at comics and I have only found things to support that opinion. I just need to come up with, like, something that is really pretty captures the essence of the comic and would make people stop and look at it when they're scrolling the screen, you know? And I don't really know what that's going to be. We're going to do sketches and we're going to find out. I've been just like looking at Pinterest and scrolling Pinterest and getting a lot of things, getting the vibes sorted in my head, as they say. I think the page that I did last week, the last, the two, the four pages that I did last week, I really like them. I'll just show it to you. Why not? I can't be showing you like the whole comic because I want you guys to actually like get a copy and see it. But then I keep wanting to show you the whole comic. So I'm just gonna, not that page. This page, the spread, and also this spread. I love them so much. They're so cool. They're great. Look at this confused face. <laughs> oh, and it's raining outside. So yeah, I'm very pleased with those two spreads. Um, we're either going to get started on the next one or we're going to do the cover sketches today. Because what I want to do is get the Kickstarter page for this approved sooner rather than later just so people can save it if they want to. And then I can add all the bells and whistles later. And I kind of need the cover at a bare minimum to put on the Kickstarter page. I'm making a comic. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do today, but definitely we're going we're gonna to do some art. I have to do in Dying Starlight art at a certain point this week too, but we're gonna think about that later because the comic is what's in crunch mode. Actually, so is in Dying Starlight, but the comic feels like more stressful. It takes more time. So I gotta work on my book first, I'm gonna work on the fantasy romance, and then I'm gonna work on art. Alrighty folks, I gotta make this quick because there's 11 minutes left on my storage. Today is Wednesday, January 31st, so including today, I have 30 days left in this challenge. Am I halfway through yet? No. No, I'm not. Seven spreads left to go, and I have one, two, three, four, like four and a half completed. Obviously, January was not a good month, 
and we are um, now gonna hustle. It's a little bit easier now because I've gotten into like the rhythm of how to draw the characters and the environments and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna have to hustle, including, well, there's one half of this week left. So one, two, three, four and a half weeks left. Let's just pretend it's four weeks left because who knows what I'm gonna get done in the next four days. Four weeks left and seven spreads. Basically, I need to do two spreads a week, which is four pages, which is a lot for me, okay? Okay, it's a lot, but we're totally gonna do this. We got this thing, okay? I have been doing, oh yeah, I forgot to, I've been doing sketches of the cover. I think I told you, I don't remember if I told you guys this. I'm sorry, I can't do vlogs for this long with this little brain power. But there is one page, uh, page eight in the middle of this that would make like, nearly a perfect cover for this book, you know, this book, this comic, but I don't want to just grab a page out of it and I think it needs, I want it to be more of a wraparound cover, so I think I might like grab that page and mess with it a little bit or I'll just take a similar concept to that page and work it into what I need for the cover, so I think I'm getting there on what the cover is gonna be, I think. I cannot wait to get a print proof of this because this is a very like a darkly drawn comic. A lot of it takes place at night. You know, it's day and night time. A lot of it takes place at night. So there's a lot of um, like shades of blue. And on the screen, it looks great. It looks really cool. Stuff like this is notoriously difficult to print because the computer has light coming, you know, backlit on the design, basically. It's basically like you're shining a light through the back of the design. So everything's gonna pop on paper, you know. Printing it glossy will help, and I may like bump up the brightness and contrast just a little bit after I'm all done so that it actually shows up the way it's supposed to on print. But that's what print proofs are for. It might turn out great. I don't know. That's where we are. I, I don't have very much time to talk here. So that's where we are. We're getting there. I feel I'm not halfway done yet, but I feel like I'm halfway done. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm getting there. There's not very many pages left. So I'm gonna turn off the camera because I don't have very much time left. And honestly, that's all I had to say. Alrighty, it's Wednesday, February 7th. I should probably start editing this vlog because I, I just feel in my soul that it's going to be obnoxiously long. I've never done an hour long vlog before, but if there is one, it's gonna be this one. Yikes. Where are we? We are behind. That's where we are. I'm on page, what page am I on? 17, I'm halfway through page 17. I added this little, I'm gonna show you, this little decorative element of like the little stars hanging from the ceiling of this greenhouse and it makes me very happy. I like, I like the little stars. My reflection might be ruining it, but look at these big giant eyeballs. So we're on page 17. Of course we do have some pages. I haven't done 17 pages. There's pages earlier and this stuff to be done. So we have two, four, six, eight, 12 and a half pages to do in the next three weeks <laughs> if I want to do this challenge properly. That means I've done 12 and a half pages, right? One, two, three, 12 and a half pages. We are exactly precisely halfway through. It has taken me a long time. I've decided at this point, I'm, I'm gonna put the speech bubbles in later because I don't actually know how much space the text will take up and it feels kind of silly to start drawing the speech bubbles right now like I have been doing so I'm just gonna continue on with the art and the speech bubbles can be later I don't I'm not gonna count the speech bubbles and inputting the text as part of this challenge because goodness knows we're already we're already pushing it with just the art we're behind but we're 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 gonna pretend that this is still a totally doable thing I don't know about that I'm not even looking at the cover right now I know I said I was gonna do the cover but I don't even know if I'm gonna do the cover right now because extra artwork on top of all this mmm we'll see we'll see we'll see it is Monday February 12th we are we're getting down to the wire we we are gonna Ah! Okay, so we have, including today, 18 days left. Yeah, I had to count on the calendar. I'm not, I don't want to do math, okay? Shut up. We have 18 days left. We have 10 and a half pages left. I did about a page worth yesterday. I did half of page, what is this? Half of page 18 and half of page 19. I have no idea if this is gonna work out. I feel like it's both easier for me to draw at this point and less easy for me to draw at this point because I'm just getting kind of sick of it. You know, I am solidly at that point where 
all of it just looks like crap to me. <laughs> Even if it's not, I'm like, this grass sucks and this tree sucks. So we're just at that point where this leaf does not want to stay down. Whatever. We're getting to the point where I'm like, I can't even tell if it's good. My friend is telling me it's good though, so like both my friends are telling me it's good. So I have I have outside proof from two people that this doesn't suck. Oh my goodness. I can't imagine like actually doing a comic where having to draw people. Like having to do anatomy that many times over. I'm getting annoyed just like drawing blob shapes. I'm like, I've done this 82 times now. I would pretty much have to do a page a day if I was gonna do this on time. Doubt that's actually gonna happen because I just, I get sick of drawing multiple days in a row. I don't, my brain just is not happy with that at all. So I spent a lot of hours on it yesterday. I don't remember, four or five? Somewhere between like four and six hours yesterday. I don't remember. Did I have anything else to say? I don't think so. Oh yeah, I got the comic page page the Kickstarter page for the comic approved um, it's not done uh, but it's done enough that I could get the pre-order link up it's not really a pre-order link but like pre-save link up but you can save it so you can be notified so I don't know when this vlog is going out but it'll go out before the Kickstarter launches I hope I gotta do a bunch of art today um, I also I'm in the middle of like trying to relaunch and Dying Starlight here too, so I'm behind on those covers, but I do have like five or six, possibly seven covers that I can be setting up on Ingram Spark. I just need to format them, which also takes time. We're gonna see how this goes, but February is uh, the last three weeks here is oh, it's less than three weeks, isn't it? Do or die now, folks. I have to do social media, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna shut up. I'm sure this vlog is horrendously long. We have ten pages left. Today's Wednesday, February 14th. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and do like those four pages in the first section that I skipped over because I wanted to go into like the nighttime portion of the story. I think I'm gonna go back and do that so that when I do the final couple of pages at the end, it actually feels like I'm doing the end of the story, you know? I'm almost positive I will not do this in the 100 days because 10 more pages in 15 more days I don't know because like the last couple pages of the story are kind of like simplistic and just really cute. So it could happen. It could. There are fewer panels. Could happen. We're going to be delusional and continue to think it will happen until it definitely won't. So we've got exactly 10 pages left. We got this. It's Friday, February 16th, nine and a half pages left. I'm working on page four. Four, doing the four, five, six, seven spreads so that I can do the rest later. We got this. We don't got it, but we got it. It is Wednesday, February 21st. We got nine days left. Is that how math works? Yeah, we got nine... We got nine days left. The main things on the agenda right now are my fantasy romance book and this comic. And we're, we got five pages left. I, I gotta tweak a little bit of uh, the page I was working on before. So like five and a little bit of pages. A lot of these pages actually need tweaking, but that's, that's not the point. As long as I have them all like 90% finished, that is what, that's what we're counting on here because that's the hard part for me. I can like tweak stuff forever. That's not the problem. Five pages left, nine days. It's like a half a page a day, which is very doable, especially because I'm near the end of the story, the comic, whatever. That, that applies. I can't remember anything I've said on this vlog versus other vlogs, but I've got the Kickstarter um, upcoming project page up, and I have 55 followers over there, so I'm very pleased. I did get done the earlier section of pages that I went back to work on, pages like four, five, six, and seven, I think it was. Something like that. The little section in the beginning that I avoided doing. And I think that one of those spreads, which was it? I'll just go look. I have InDesign right here. Just open the program, Emily. Uh, pages six through seven, one of my favorite spreads. The, like, the blue and the orange are just... I do have to work on my fantasy romance this morning first, but I'm gonna spend a lot of time on this today. I'm, like, I'm excited. You know, it's, I'm getting to a point where I'm not, like, in the 
the middle section of it. So I'm excited about the fact that it's it, it's almost close to being done and I'm gonna be able to print it soon. Soon. And I get to run a little Kickstarter for it soon. I don't remember if I've told you in this vlog, so I'm just gonna tell you. I am trying to get a little plushy of the main character made. It's going to be expensive, but I think the Kickstarter will be able to cover it. I'm like 90% certain the Kickstarter will be able to cover it even if it cuts into a lot of my profit for it. It's something I want to do. And I found uh, an American manufacturer that seems very legit. And yeah, I could go overseas and get it, but apparently making plushies is extraordinarily complicated when it comes to like safety regulations and getting them shipped over here through customs. I'm not risking it. I would rather pay a little bit extra for an American company to like do all the scary parts for me because I think the Kickstarter will cover it. So I'm excited about that. And like once I have more to show you on that, I will. I don't know if there will be anything in this vlog showing it because um, I can't really get it started until March. So, but I'm just letting you know, we're trying, we're trying to do a little, little plushy run here, which is going to be a trial run because when I do In Dying Starlight's Kickstarter sometime next year, I want to get a plushie of Bat. Can you imagine? This was actually my friend's idea to make the little character of Day into a plushie. Shout out to Freya, thank you. This was stressful, but a good idea. <laughs> I spent so long trying to figure out how to get a plushie manufacturer to work and like finally settled on. I just need to use an American manufacturer because they know what they're doing and I don't. So I got five pages left. And this is like, the cute part of the story too. You know, all the the build up to like the emotional little cute part at the end of the story. It's very me to want to do the story that way, isn't it? It's so cute. Yeah, I like these last few pages, so I think I'll really enjoy doing them. I don't think, I think I can do it by the end of February. I think. I've been talking too long. I Man, I need to edit this vlog. I still haven't started editing this vlog yet. I gotta, we gotta get back to writing and drawing until my computer just says, you suck, don't make me do this anymore. <laughs> it doesn't like all these big Photoshop files. It's Friday, February 23rd. I am on page 21. I am still on page 21. <laughs> this is the third day I will be working on page 21. I decided to do the equivalent of like 10 panels because I'm really smart. I have about the equivalent of four panels to go. <laughs> Good news. Page 22, 23, 24, 5, which are the last four pages. They seem really easy and chill. T minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 days to do four pages plus the rest of 21. We're not, we're not in impossible territory yet because those last four pages, I think I could do one page a day. We'll see. Oh, we love bad decisions. I did it. What day is it technically? Yesterday, which was day 96, I finished the art. Is the comic done? No. Is what I wanted to do within the 100 days done? Yes. I'm shocked, quite frankly. <laughs> so what we had over the last couple of days is day before yesterday, which was... Today is Monday, February 26th. So on Saturday, I did page 22 and 23, and then yesterday I did page 24 and 25. They were some of the easiest pages just because I am so practiced with the characters now and because there they were some similar poses so I could at least like copy the base over and tweak it into what it needed to be and it was just some very cute panels but four pages in the last two days is very impressive for me so today is day 97 I will take advantage of the fact that I have four days of this left and I'm going to try to do the typesetting on it it shouldn't take too long mainly I have to figure out which font I'm going to use. I'm not using Comic Sans. You can't make me. <laughs> I will hand write it in before I use Comic Sans. We're not doing that. But mainly I'm going to try to do the typesetting on it and I'm going to go in and make some of the little tweaks that I know I have to make in the artwork itself. I might have to do some color correcting. I can't believe I did this. <laughs> 25 pages. I don't know if I've made 25 pages of art in my life. That's dramatic. I'm sure I have because I went to way too many years of college and university for what I got out of it. But that is a lot of artwork and like so many panels. And I did something simple, you know, and cutesy and like little cartoony like characters too. I didn't even do 
anything with difficult anatomy. Can you imagine? I can't. If I ever do a comic with anatomy, I'm gonna have to start with like a five page comic. And even then, that will probably kill me. 25 pages, you guys. So what I'm doing as far as the Kickstarter goes is um, BackerKit has like a pre-launch feature where you can use to um, get more followers based on the people who backed your campaign in the past. So I can like send out cool emails with sneak peeks to hopefully get my previous backers to be like, yeah, I wanna uh, save that campaign for when it launches too. Tentatively, I would like to launch this in two weeks. Well, two weeks in a day. On Tuesday, March 12th. Tuesday, March 12th would be fantastic. The only reason I'm not doing it next week is I feel like that's not, that's not quite enough time, even though it might be enough time. <clears throat> that's not quite enough time. And my manufacturer I'm going to use for the plushie, um, they're closed down in February. So they can't get their materials to make a, uh, not a proof, not a concept. What, what is the word I'm looking for? A sample. Is that the word? I don't know. You get the point. They can't start making the sample until like March 1st. And I need the sample before I can launch the Kickstarter because we got to get pictures of the sample. You get the point. Oh yeah, and for the Kickstarter, I'm going to try to do, for the campaign video, I need to do some sort of little cutesy animated thing. You know, take some of the character art and like make them just like sway a little bit at a bare minimum. Just give them a little bit of movement. Get some particle effects in there. You know, that should look cute. I like the uh, trailers. I like doing Kickstarter trailers. So I'll probably update you on Friday or Monday. I'll update you guys again. That's the point. <laughs> it's Friday, March 1st. We are done with the 100 day challenge. I didn't actually end up doing very much the last couple of days. I finished uh, the artwork on February 25th, which is day 96. And only yesterday did I really do anything on it. I spent about an hour working on the typesetting for it and I got like the first three pages done, I think. Like I said, the art was the main thing and we got the art done. I am quite pleased with myself, all things considered. I feel like at this point I should say like, here are the things I learned about doing a comic in a hundred days and I got nothing really. I got a little bit. If I ever do anatomy, it will be hell. These were cartoons, very simple cartoons. Anatomy would be hellish. I think I've said that like eight times now, but it bears repeating for whenever I think this is gonna be a good idea in the future because it's almost guaranteed that in like a year from now, I'm gonna be like, you know what I should do? Another 100 day challenge, but with people drawing people this time, it will be a bad idea. It won't stop me if that's what I decide to do, but it'll be a bad idea. One thing I think I will definitely do next time around is something I have heard comic artists say that they do and it just left my brain to actually do it until it occurred to me in the middle of illustrating this thing was come up with a little library of poses from the start because being able to copy and paste some basic poses in there is going to be so helpful. I used one of the initial sketches in like two or three of the panels in the end because it was a perfect pose. And it should do 360 degree angle all around for all the characters and it would have made my life a lot easier to do. Actually write down what my color palettes are once I decide on them for next time. For this it was fairly easy because I didn't really do any color adjusting yet so I could just sample from the previous pages, but that would be useful to actually have a little swatch panel. Definitely save the brushes that you're using for the backgrounds because you don't want to like hunt through your library if you can't find one. I did do that, but that's good advice for future me. And just that I will get very, very used to having to draw backgrounds over and over and over again. There were lots of trees drawn in this comic, a lot. My little chart thing that I kept for the end of November, December, January, and February, I will put them up on screen. But in November, days one through nine, and I did seven hours worth of working on the comic. December was day 10 through 40, and I worked on it for 12 hours. January was day 41 through 71, and I worked on it for about 28 and a half hours. And then February was day 72 through 100, and I worked on it for 44 and a half hours. 25 pages, all done. The cover mostly done because I took one of the pages that was perfect for the cover and I'm just gonna tweak it. I got a lot of the Kickstarter page set up as I was going along as well. Got the interior typeface picked out and I've got the title font picked out. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit, but I've got it picked out. So we are heavily on our way to being done with this. Do I have anything else wise to say? Absolutely not. I am looking forward 
very much to getting some sort of proof copy for this. One day I'm gonna invest in a printer that doesn't stink so I can actually just print out art at home to get proofs. But that's not today. Probably won't get the proof until after the Kickstarter because when you do Kickstarters there's kind of necessary things to put in the book. So I have no idea. I might get one early. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, giving it a thumbs up and a subscribe really helps out my channel. The upcoming project link for this is in the description so you can click notify me just so you're the first to know when the Kickstarter goes up. You can of course read my books, Under the Earth Over the Sky, The Sea at the End of Everything, and Dying Starlight is it on Kindle Unlimited. My next project is finishing the In Dying Starlight covers. <laughs> my next illustration project. I have so many art things to do. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!